Hello, guten tag, hola, ni hao, bonjour, ciao, prakya. Welcome to Stirling, we are students at Wallace High. The best school in the area. Today we will share with you some of our favourite locations and things to do. Starting with our school. Our school has loads of great facilities like the pool, all-weather football pitch, great music rooms and an outdoor volleyball court. Our school is divided into three wings, Air 3, Logie and Powys. We have school uniform with purple as our main colour and we wear this every day. Our school is really accepting and raises loads of awareness about mental health. This is the University of Stirling. People attend from all around the world. The Battle of Stirling Bridge took place right here where the English and Scottish fought for control over Stirling Castle. The original bridge was wooden and it was built further down the river. The stone one was built to commemorate that one. The only reason the English fought for control of Stirling because it was the only safe way through to the Highlands. This is the engine shed. For years it was derelict but in the last year it has been beautifully renovated. So the engine shed used to be part of the Ministry of Defence, the whole site from here all the way to the train station and the barracks behind the building were kind of constructed between 1896 and 1913. It was kind of abandoned in the 90s, Stirling Council took it over and Historic Environment Scotland decided that we should do something with the building. So what we did is used it as a conservation project. The engine shed is a cool place to come. I would thoroughly recommend it if you're interested in buildings, materials or skills. We run various activities, so try and teach kids about the science behind buildings, what our scientists are actually doing and how our digital documentation is being used. This is the toll booth. Here people can perform live and learn new music skills. It gives a great experience for those who want to have a future in performing. It offers different classes like drama, craft, computing and music. To finish off your trip, there's a lovely cafe. This is the Wallace Monument, a building built to commemorate William Wallace. It has 246 steps and a fantastic view from the top. The Wallace Monument was opened in 1869 and reaches 67 metres high. It was built by John Thomas Rockhead. Welcome to Stirling Castle. Over the years, Stirling Castle has played a major role in Scotland's history. It has been around since the 12th century and the current buildings have been around since the 1400s. It took 110 years to build. It is highly visited by tourists and in 2015 roughly 460,000 people visited Stirling Castle. This is one of the gardens. There is a story about two men who had an argument. One of them stabbed the other and threw him out of that window. He fell into the garden below and was apparently buried here. This is the Great Hall. These thrones are where the royal family used to sit. This tapestry was used in one of the Harry Potter films. This is the kitchen. The food for royal banquets used to be cooked and prepared here. It's quite an old castle, Stirling Castle. Uh, there were castles before this one, but the oldest part of this castle um, is over 600 years old, 630, 40 years old. About 300 years ago, it became a barracks, so where a place where soldiers would live. Um, at one point, we had up to 800 soldiers living in here, just training for, for battles around the world. Um, and they left the castle in 1964 and now it's a place for people to come and visit. So we have visitors from all over the world, all nationalities come here. Probably the building I like the most is James V Palace. Um, I love the paintwork in the inside of it. Uh, when you go in there you meet people in costume that talk to you about the history of the castle and life in the past so it's a lovely experience for visitors to go in there. I hope you're going to get my best sight. <laughs> We hope you have enjoyed seeing our home and that you can visit us one day.